In the previous videos where we introduced the list control, we showed the list control being populated with uh, static data. But the list control can be populated with a variety of data sources. And in this video, we'll show how you can populate the list using uh, SQL and DBF queries. So let's go ahead now and uh, place a list uh, control on this uh, component. So we'll go there and choose list. And let's just choose uh, list 1 list 2 and list 3 and uh, we'll populate each list with a different uh, data source so we'll go to our first list over here and this for this list we'll choose a uh, static data source and we'll just again use our sample data and then we'll go over to the list control properties and choose uh, those columns then for the second list we'll go here and this time we'll choose uh, SQL data and uh, we'll use a connection string that points to uh, the Northwind uh, data stored in a MySQL database. Uh, we'll choose the uh, customer table and then we'll choose uh, fields. Uh, we'll choose customer ID, uh, company name, contact name, city and country. So that's uh, quite a few fields and uh, we can of course uh, instead of just choosing fields from a table we can switch to uh, the SQL Builder and actually uh, define an arbitrarily complex uh, SQL query uh, if we wanted. So uh, if we just go here and switch to custom we can see now that uh, this is our uh, query and we can go into the Builder and modify the query um, as, as needed. So now we can go to the list layout and choose the columns that we would like to appear in our list and then let's go back once more and this time go to the list properties and choose uh, DBF and um, we'll choose the uh, customer table from uh, um, Alpha Sports and then we'll go and choose uh, some fields from that table so city and region go ahead there and now go over to uh, list properties and then choose um, Let's go choose uh, those fields and then click OK. So now we've got a uh, UX component with three different list controls on it. Each list control has been populated with a different data source. So let's go here and save this uh, list control multiple data sources and then switch over to uh, working preview. And there we see basically our first list our second list and our third list over there. So one of the things that uh, uh, we can point out here is that the list is retrieving all of the data. So uh, this particular first list here, there's three rows. In this list here, we've retrieved, I think, all 90 rows uh, from the, uh, um, the uh, customer table in Northwind. And uh, in this list here, we've retrieved, I think it's about 60 rows of data from the uh, customer table. So as you can see the list is the list control is is uh, extremely quick and uh, it's much more efficient for displaying lists of data say than the grid component would be. Uh, three grid controls uh, that had been placed on a dialog uh, displaying this much data would not display the data as efficiently as the list control can. So let's go back now and choose a different style so that uh, the lists actually look a little bit better. Uh, so we'll go here and choose one of the new uh, mobile styles for version 12 and go back to working preview now and we can see now that the lists uh, are looking um, a little nicer right now and uh, uh, they perform extremely, uh, extremely quickly. So let's pause now and pick it up in the next video to look at some of the other uh, data sources.